Hello. So I've been quite uh, remiss at keeping on top of this fun after 50 channel simply because I've been having a ton of fun. I know I was doing pretty well in the beginning when I had less uh, movement happening. I was I was not traveling quite so much. I was staying in one place for three weeks in Toronto in my first ever dog sitting gig. And then I traveled to Montreal. Well, first I went through Ontario and spent Thanksgiving weekend, you know, with friends and family and ate way too much. Then I went on to Montreal where I dog sat again, but this one was with my um, granddaughter, dog, we can say, and a teeny, weeny, weeny little uh, dwarf hamster, and her name is Elle, because that's, because they're in Montreal, and, and that's the uh, name for she, is Elle, and that's her name. Uh, so at any rate, I'm getting back at it, but I'll tell you, right now, I'm in Mexico. I didn't even know where I was going until November, and I landed in Mexico City November 27th. I mean, it could have been driving down through the U.S. all the way down the coast and then hooking up with a friend and, and uh, traveling to another country with her, that sort of thing, but that didn't work out, and so I didn't go to Costa Rica, I didn't go to the Dominican Republic, <laughs> all these options. I came back to Mexico, and so I landed in Mexico City, and I already knew that I was on my way to stay with friends in Ixtapa, and that's where I am. It's very warm here, typically, but uh, my host couple, my friends, were saying today about how chilly it is. <laughs> and it might be four degrees less, so when it's 34 and then it's only 30 yeah, it's noticeable by them, but for me, in the morning, it was just absolutely gloriously wonderful, and then by late morning, I was walking, I went to uh, a bank to exchange some money, and I was perspiring like crazy by the time I got back, so fun after 50? Oh. Hell yeah, <laughs> hands down. And I have actually been uh, making a lot of videos. So I'm going to be just popping them right up there as, as I have the time to do so. But I just wanted to give you a heads up on where I'm at. I haven't abandoned the channel. I haven't, um, you know, been a quitter. My God, I would not be a quitter. So that's what I'm up to. I am having tons of fun. And so I'm in Ixtapa with these dear friends and they're becoming dearer and dearer the, the more we speak every day. And I'm here mainly so that I can be in Spanish every single day. And then uh, from here, I'll be here a couple of months anyway, and then a girlfriend of mine from elementary school, if you can imagine, is coming down to Mexico and probably Ixtapa. I haven't found a place yet, but I was looking in Puerto Vallarta a few weeks ago, and that <laughs> the, the uh, team that was going to be uh, renting together in Puerto Vallarta kind of disbanded. So it's like, why go to PV? I'm in Ixtapa. The beaches here are spectacularly beautiful. And the city here is called Cihuatanejo. And it's like, I don't know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes from where I am in the place they call Ixtapa, in the uh, hotel zone, if you will, Zona Hotelaria. And uh, anyway, so I'm going to find out where to go dancing, how to get all the grocery type of things I need and all that stuff, and I'll be doing that somewhat shortly. You'll be seeing videos of that too, undoubtedly. It took me a couple of days to be able to exchange money because yesterday I go out. <laughs> the day before, there was a problem with the lock on the door, so I couldn't go out because I couldn't leave the house unlocked. And um, so anyway, then I went out today. No, then I went out yesterday, and yesterday was... El Dia de la Virgen de Guadalupe. Well, I heard all this going on on Monday, but it didn't occur to me. <laughs> That's a, a national holiday here. So, of course, the banks are going to be closed. But then, as I'm laughing about it, 
with the, my hostess. She said, oh my God, Lynn, I did that. I've lived here all my life, not in Ixtapa, but in Mexico all her life. And she went out to the bank. <laughs> and she actually went to a second bank because the first bank wasn't open. She didn't know why. So then she went to a second bank before she finally figured it out. <laughs> well, it only took me three banks. Being a Canadian, I think that's pretty, um, pretty respectable. So anyway, I'll be back at you right shortly. I'll be popping up all those video, all these videos, and I do hope to put them up in some kind of chronological order, even though they go way back to October, and it is early December right now. Getting near the, no, it's near the middle of the month now. Holy, how, town, how time flies. All right, <clears throat> there's this thing that sprays out air freshener. <laughs> it just got some in my mouth. I would say if there's anything I don't love about this place, that would that would be it. Anyway, whatever. It's okay. It makes the house smell like flowers. All right. On that note, guys, go forth and prosper. This is what I tell my clients when I'm signing off with my business owner clients because I'm a business performance coach. I say go forth and prosper and have a heck of a lot of fun doing it. So... Likewise for you guys, for you, all you people, all you women, whatever. Go forth and have tons more fun. Be prosperous in the fun you're having. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.